All right, new chapter, new section. We're doing circumference and arc length. Circumference should not be new to us. Um, I know you've experienced circumference in the past, but arc length is new. So first of all, circumference. The circumference of a circle is the distance around the circle. Sort of like perimeter is the distance around um, a shape. The circumference is the distance around a specific circle. So here we have the circumference of a circle. Circumference of a circle, which is C, is um, C equals pi D, or C equals 2 pi R. Erase that. C equals pi D, or C equals 2 pi R, where D is the diameter, or R is the radius. Diameter is 2 times your radius, so that's how those two equations um, are related to each other. All right, find the indicated measure. Okay, give me the circumference of a circle with a radius of 9 centimeters. So circumference equals, this is radius, so we're going to do 2 pi r. Now pi is a button on your calculator. Or if you want to round it, it's 3.14. So 2 times pi, you know, we're going to use the pi button on our calculator. We'll get a much more accurate answer if we do that. Times the radius, which is 9 centimeters. If you tap that out on your calculator, you get 56.55 centimeters as your answer. Find the radius of a circle with a circumference of 26 meters. So we're given the circumference. So we're going to use C equals pi, 2 pi r, and plug in what we know. C is 26. 2 pi times r, we're solving for r. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2 pi. And I get r equals, punch that out on your calculator, approximately 4.14. Um, meters. Okay, tire revolutions. The dimensions of a car, car tire are shown at the right. The nearest foot, how far does the car, how far does the tire travel when it makes 15 revolutions? Um, <clears throat> what you haven't been presented yet is distance traveled. So write this down in your notes. equals number of revolutions times, that's an S, circumference. Okay, so we need to find the circumference of this tire. Okay, change colors here real quick. Okay. We've got the center, so the diameter is going to be all of these added together. So diameter equals, a little messy there, 15 plus 5.5 plus 5.5. So I have 11 plus 15 is 26 inches. So the circumference of this is pi d. Number of revolutions is 15. That's going to be our distance traveled. Okay, type that out. 15 times pi times 26 is approximately 1,225.2 inches. Okay, that really doesn't make much sense um, to the nearest foot. Actually, that's what we're going to do. So I need to change that into feet. 12 inches is one foot. So if I divide by 12, I get 102.1 feet, which to the nearest foot is just 102 feet. All right, you try. Find the circumference of a circle with a diameter 
of 5 inches. And then find the diameter of a circle with a circumference of 17 feet. So we're going to do A and then B. Push pause and try on your own. All right, there we go. Okay, now that you try. A car tire has a diameter of 28 inches. How many revolutions does the tire make while traveling 500 feet? So we have distance traveled equals number of revolutions times circumference. Um, but we have inches and feet. So the first thing I'm going to do is change this into how many revolutions? Yep. Um, 28 inches divide by 12 will give me 2.3 feet. So let's, you go ahead and try. Push pause, please. Okay, there we go. All right, moving on. An arc length is a portion of the circumference of a circle. It's a length. Okay, we've done a lot of measurements of arcs in degrees. This is a length, so it's a unit of length. Um, if we had a ruler that could measure it, we would. Can't measure uh, arc with a uh, ruler, though. So to move on, you can use the measure of the arc in degrees to find its length in linear units. Linear units, okay? Um, it's a measurement of length. I can't stress that enough because that seems to be the sticking point in this section. So the arc length corollary. This right here is what we need. The arc length of AB, of arc AB, so the length of length, the length of arc AB over 2 pi r, which is your circumference, equals the measurement of arc AB in degrees divided by 360. Okay, this is what we're going to memorize right there. So we have length over circumference equals degrees over 360. Length over circumference equals degrees over 360. So find the length of each red arc. There's quite a few of these. So we have length of the arc over 2 pi r equals degrees over 360. Little reminder here, when your central angle is 60, your arc is 60 degrees, your arc is also 60 degrees. It's a central angle. Okay, cross multiply. So I've got length times 360 equals 60 times 2 pi times 8. Let me get my calculator out. 60 times 2 times pi times 8. Now I don't have my cool calculator, so I don't have a pi button today. But that's what we get, equals length times 360. Divide both sides by 360. And I get my arc length of 8.4 centimeters. Let's try another one. So length, let's make that a little neater. Whoops. Length over circumference, which is 2 pi times 11 equals degrees over 360. Cross multiply, you have length times 360 equals 60 times 2 pi times 11. 60 times 2 times pi times 11. Divide both sides by 360. And your arc length equals 11.5 centimeters. All right, here, 
I feel like there's too many examples here. <laughs> 2 times pi times 11 equals 120 over 360. So I get 120 times 2 times pi times 11. Can I go ahead and divide that by 360? And that gives me my length. I skipped a step. Hope you guys are following. Okay, 120 times 2 times pi times 11. Divide by 360. 23.0 centimeters. All right, the next example. Find the indicated measure. So we're trying to find the circumference of circle Z. Okay, so if we look, we have length over circumference equals measurement of the arc over 360. Let's plug in what we know. We know this arc length is 4.19. We're trying to find the circumference. The measurement of the arc, okay, this is a central angle, so the degrees of the arc is also 40. 40 over 360. Cross multiply, 40C equals 4.19 times 360. Divide both sides by 40. C equals 37.71 inches. Yep. Okay, another one. Find the indicated measure. So now we're trying to find the measure of arc, RS. So this arc right here. Okay, this is pointing to the radius. So we know the radius and we know the length of the arc. So the length of the arc over the circumference, 2 times pi times 15.28 equals, I'm trying to find the measurement of the arc, over 360. Cross multiply. Two pi fifteen point two eight equals forty four times three sixty. Divide by this mess. Two times pi times 15.28, divide by 2, divide by pi, divide by 15.28. I get the measurement of arc RS is 165.1 degrees. Okay, you try. Page one, push pause please. There we go, push pause and check it out. Another you try, find the circumference. Um, and we're given this arc length and the same central angle, so push pause. There we go. Find the indicated measure, so we're trying to find the radius. That means I'm going to use the length of the arc over 2 pi r equals the measurement of the arc over 360. Okay, push pause. Try on your own. There we go. All right. The curves at the ends of the track shown are 180 degree arcs of circles because it is a semicircle. The radius of the arc for a runner on the red path shown is 36.8 meters. But how far does this runner travel to go once around the track? So we're trying to find sort of the perimeter. Okay, we're going to find the circumference of this circle. 
this is a half circle, right? So we're finding the distance of this arc and this arc, and then adding it to both of these. So we'll get the whole distance around. Sorry, it's just the red circle, though. So here is our semicircle. I don't know if I can erase that. Ooh. Okay, let me show you again. So just the red. So here's my diameter. So that's a semicircle. Here's my diameter. That's a semicircle. It's really one full circle. So circumference equals 2 pi r. thirty six point eight two times pi times the circumference of that circle is two hundred and thirty one point one it means if I take this circle and marry it with this circle I've got one full circle right you following me so the distance around this plus the distance around this is two hundred and thirty one meters plus this length and that length. So I need this twice. 2 times 84.39 plus 84.39 plus 84.39. The distance around this track is 399.8. Nine meters. And I'm actually pretty sure if I would have used the button pi on a calculator, it would have been 400 exactly. So, pretty cool. In example five, the radius of the arc for a runner on the blue path is 44.02 meters. So, circle. So the radius on the blue path, these are both half circles, is 44.02 meters. So go ahead and try it and push and pause. Okay, if you're following the blue path, the distance around the track is 445.4 meters. That's why the really good runners you see they hug the inside of any lane because their distance should be just a little bit shorter. All right, daily homework quiz. There's lots of slides here. So I've got 18, 19, 21, six slides. Slide one, slide two, three, four, five, Good job today. See you tomorrow.